further ado, we're going to welcome Nick from Cedar Bayou. And then there's a lot of residents in this area that are from here, and they come back and visit. What will be there? So it'll be one of the best competition auditoriums in the world. The indoor water park will be 65,000 square foot of fun for all ages. 
And we're going to show you a couple of rides here in a second. We're going to start with 150 hotel rooms. We want to build up the hotels out there with us. The recent Cedar Rapids Hotel Study recognizes that we're full on weekdays. It's weekends that we can't fill our hotel rooms here. And there'll be affordable rooms for family. You know, we're looking also a family of eight can stay in one room. You don't need a suite. It'll be bunk rooms. It's kind of similar to the Disney style. And there'll be some later phases. So, uh, Jeff, you'd like to click on that wild drop drop in one, please. So I, I was down at the World Water Park Association, met these folks from Avalanche, and wow, they, they're, uh, they're pretty innovative. Uh, this is a ride I will not do. This is a small version of what we're getting. So imagine this, and then when the video, when, you know, there's a video for it. Um, if it comes up, I don't know, PDF. Anyway, so this, this ride is about 90 foot tall. It has a 45 foot free fall. Uh, straight down, basically you're in a cage, so it's not like you're bouncing over, like you're in this cage containment. Uh, if folks have seen like Running Man, you know, the sled that goes down, it's kind of like that, only not rocket propel. <laughs> so, uh, ours is going to be a 100 foot drop, and it's going to be 160 foot in the air. While the tallest two indoor rides in the country, it'll come down to the throat of an alligator that's 160 foot tall along the side of the tower. Uh, and it goes into a, a big loop. Now this one goes into a 20 foot high loop, so it basically slows you down your momentum when you come out. Uh, you reach about 40 miles an hour in this one. Ours, they expect 65 range. Uh, again, I will not ride that. That'll be for the youngsters here. So, um, the Lazy River is my ride. Uh, okay, so let's see. We also have some surf machines inside to start. So one of them is this this uh, break point uh, this point break surf junior, 2.4 meter high wave with a break indoors. It only takes up about 6,000 square foot. Uh, 2.4 meters, anyone good with metric? How high is that? Yards. Huh? Yards. Not quite. It's, it's, about, it's, it's about 8 feet. That's about 8 or 9 feet. Uh, the bigger one, when we get outdoors, can actually do 12 to 14 feet. And then you also have a stingray. This is more for uh, any kind of tubing, uh, sledding, uh, skiing, any type of aquatic sport or kind of boat type thing. It's, just, it's the first uh, boarding half pipe. So it's again a very unique ride, it takes about 3,000 square feet, so it's perfect for our indoor park. Oh. All right, get back to All right, so uh, some other unique announcements real quick other than those rides. We will be, if you watch our, our Facebook page, and if you look at our website, we'll be selling some shirts soon. These shirts are uh, white t-shirts with our logo on the front, and separated on the back. Uh, we'll sell it for approximately $20. That will be a soft opening ticket entrance as well. Uh, we'll also be starting to sell lifetime passes soon. Now we expect to break ground in the spring and then have some of our phases open by 2018. Uh, hopefully by Mardi Gras, because who doesn't like Mardi Gras, right? We're gonna have a lot of festivals coming to see rappers like, like my friend Jessica say, uh, you know, between Thanksgiving and St. Patrick's Day, there's not a lot to do here. Well, guess what's between those? Mardi Gras in February. Uh, you also get some Benet Fest, Cajun Fest. Crawfish. I mean, you, it's a festival city. I mean, we must just call it Festivus instead of New Orleans. But um, you know, it's a lot of fun there. And your beaded necklaces. So if you have a silver beaded necklace on, and there should be three of them out there, I believe one didn't get taken. I know one winner already, John. Uh, if you have a silver beaded necklace, come see me after. That was gold. Uh, you won a season pass for when we first opened. So. Uh, and then some other things we've done with the community. Uh, for example, we had kids on chorus write us letters uh, explaining how they love the park idea and what they wanted there. I went back and talked to them, gave them a letter personally, you know, thanks for your comments and feedback. And then I gave them a free pass as well. So uh, things like that. We will be having county days, here at the days, community days, all of the average ticket price of $14. So a very affordable water park. And with that, questions?